questions. Which one would you like to read? I'll just pick this one. Good. Ernie learns. Good choice. Chris, just a minute. I'm going to write your name on here, and then you can get started. And the date is the 17th of uh, September. Let me read the front cover, too, first. <clears throat> Brett was trying to train his puppy, Ernie, to obey him. Read to find out about the problems Brett had trying to teach Ernie. This must be Ernie on the cover now. All right. Chris, you can get started when you're ready. Is this the first page? It is. Brett patted his puppy on the head, saying, Today's a big day, Ernie. Today we're going to learn how to be a good dog. Ernie gave a happy bark. Okay, let's get started. Brett said, he searched his memory for instructions. He had been reading a book about dog training to recall, recalled two important things. One, you have to tell your dog what to do. Two, you also have to show dog, dog what to do. He tried to remember more and then decided to start. Maybe that was all said Ernie. Brett said he nudged the puppy and the little dog said Brett. Then Brett made another attempt. But Ernie looked at him, then Brett showed the puppy over and over how to sit again. Ernie forgot what to do. Maybe you don't like sitting, Brett said. Let's try something, something new. He backed away from his dog, say, he said, Ernie didn't stay, he, he didn't lie right. down, and he didn't come when he was called. Brett's mom was watching for the porch. Brett yelled, Mom, why can't you, I teach Ernie anything? I like, I think you forgot important step mom said she held out some puppy treats you have to make make him want to be good watch for him to do something right then praise him with a word to reward him that's how Dad, I get, and I get you to be good. Stop there and get sound to yourself. Talk about what happened in this story. Um, first, Ernie wasn't listening, and then he yelled, Mom, Brett yelled, Mom, and the mom came over and said, Maybe you should start giving him treats. Mm. 
Um, what are some of the ways people and dogs are kind of the same? Sometimes they listen. Sometimes people or dogs? Or both? Um, sometimes people or dogs. Mm, so we're kind of the same that way. What else makes us the same? Um, So Brett's acting like a puppy? Oh my goodness. I didn't know if that would be confusing because Ernie was the dog, right? And Brett was the human. So why would why would he give and who's he giving the happy bark to? His mom. Oh uh -huh. what do you think the mom would say? You're silly. You're silly. That would be funny. I have a job for you to take back into the room. <clears throat> um and it is this. Next if there was a next book, Brett wants to teach Ernie to come. How do you think he would do that? He'd put a tree in front of him, and it's, he'd put a tree in front of him, and it let him follow or say, come on, boy. Mm. Take that back and write that down, would you please? And put that on your desk when you're done. Oops, you mm. you have one on your desk? Yeah. OK. Thank you. Right. Are you ready to be videoed? Yeah. Good. Perfect specimen. Here we go. <clears throat> Thanks for doing this with us. Mm -hmm. Elijah, I have two books for you. One is called Plenty of Pets, and one is called Animal Instincts. Which would you like to read? Animal Instincts, please. I love the dog, especially because I have one. Especially because you have one, exactly. And he is so soft, even though he has thin fur. This mm -hmm. dog looks like it's moving really quickly. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him? Can you tell him? He's running. You gotta write your name on top here, Elijah. Okay. The date today was the 17th. Yep. Yeah. Which in two days it's my brother's birthday, and in three days it's my birthday. Kevin, so you're going to have lots of things to write about. Animal instincts. An instinct is something that you're born with and ready to do. Read to find out about instincts dogs and cats have. And Elijah, as soon as I press on the calculator, you may get started. Oh, just wait. Here we one other piece of paper. When you were a baby, you learned to how to walk. Later, you learned to read and do many other things. Some, some things you didn't need to learn. When you were an infant, 
for example, no one had to teach you how to cry when you were hungry. You were born, no one had to do that. A baby's cry is one example of an instinct or a behavior that is built in, not learned. Different animals are born with different instincts, dogs and cats. Dogs and cats have many instinctual behaviors. Some of their actions might seem odd to us. Yet our family pets are behaving the exactly the, in exactly the same way of their ancestors did thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. The pack is back. The dogs you know are probably household pets and live indoors. While indoors. Wild dogs live in packs, groups, which animals live, work, hunt together. Dogs in pack depend on another to survive. So pack instinct is very strong. The leader of the pack is the smartest dog. The others in the pack obey the leader. The instinct is the one reason that pet dogs are such devoted family members. Dogs regard their human families as their pets, packs, and one family member is the leader of the pack. Okay, stop there and read the rest yourself, please. you learned in this Well, it was mostly about dogs, and I'm sort of happy, happy for that. I mean, we didn't talk about, like, the ears so much. I would have liked it if it talked about the ears and the tasting and when to run and when to not run and how they know when to stop. Well, some dogs learn that when they get used to, you know, when they hear the food, they go towards it, but my dog with the food isn't quite used to that quite yet. He, we still have to calm him to the food, and even though he, 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 we have to call him, so if he comes, well, all the time we do that, but sometimes we have to repeat ourselves, we still get to give him cream for listening on his food, and sometimes hot dog juice or some other stuff at the bottom. Some treat. Hmm. So why do you suppose they wrote this book about animal instincts? Um, because the author... D.M. Longo must have loved pets, and she must have had quite a bit, sort of like 
substitute Mrs. Yunani does. Mm. Why would that be? Because he loves to take care of animals so they don't get hurt. And I was thinking that yesterday, as well, I'm just thinking of that now, that yesterday, our friends, or no, two nights ago, I think it was, because there were, our friends got a new dog, and so it was fun to, like, play with her. She was about mm, this tall. Mm -hmm. She loved to play mm -hmm. and tag. So what kind of instincts did that new dog have? Um, well, I know she had an instinct of run and play. Ah. And she definitely had an instinct of hearing and very good seeing because it was quite dark out there. Because the, we, we even went through the trees to, um, and it was cloudy out so I bet it was, it was, I bet it was blurry for some kids. No, could be. The dog must have very good eyesight. Yeah, I I learned one day from my dad that dogs see better in the dark oh. than the light. Mm -hmm. So. So that's an animal trait for dogs. Speaking of dogs, do you think different animals have different instincts? Um. Yes, like the bird. The bird knows when to fly and when it's okay to land. Oh. Why do you suppose that's important? Um, to get away from predators, and since they're small and fast, and bigger predators are soaring and slow, mm -hmm. but not always. Mm -hmm. Some predators die for the fast, like and falcon. Uh, sure, sure. So why do you think animals keep doing things like hunting when they don't really even have to anymore? Like your dog, does your dog ever hunt? Yes, one day when my babysitter was over, my dog saw a chipmunk and he ran mm -hmm. straight and so did the chipmunk. Mm -hmm. He bit his two back legs and he was curling like this uh -oh. and I got my BB gun out but the, even though my dad was like not even a block away, mm -hmm. my babysitter used the BB gun. But don't, you said you feed your dog, right? Yes. So why would your dog keep hunting like that? To practice, like, my dad wants him to be a hunting dog for, like, birds and stuff. And, mm. and so, he still has to learn when to bite things and let things go, because he was still going after that chipmunk to eat it like a little, like, a wolf. And do you suppose he was really hungry, or was oh, he yeah. just doing this? He was... I bet he was hungry because mm -hmm. he was pawing at him, he was mm -hmm. nipping at him. <laughs> Must have been hungry. Um, how did you, how did the author, may I say this, how did the author help you understand instincts on this first page? Um, right well, he told about when you were a baby and when you weren't, mm -hmm. and what kind of instincts you are like you learned, or, or maybe you didn't learn. Oh. Maybe you'll learn in the future. Could be. Like, I learned how to, I started having good eyesight, like a dinosaur, like, so if it was dark out, and I found a, just a speck of light, mm -hmm. and then I saw something move, mm -hmm. my eye could twitch that way, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, I could, Zip line to it. Yeah. Well, you do have good eyesight. Say, Elijah, this conversation about animal instincts makes me think that you're going to have lots of great things to write about in Writer's Workshop today. I heard about the neighbor's new puppy. I heard about different things that your dog has done, and I think you have a lot of other stories to tell, too. Would you please save those until Writer's Workshop? Okay. And when you go back inside, would you take this bottom part? You have another one from earlier this morning, but do this one first, please. It says, choose either a dog or cat. Make two columns, and in the first column, make a list of instincts. In the second column, tell how each behavior helps the animal, even if they no longer do it. Just do the writing part of this, would you please?